Hello everyone, uh, my name is Mary Yanni and I'm a publisher at Taylor & Francis um, and I'm here to speak to you today uh, about our Taylor & Francis medical portfolio. So this is me, um, feel free to contact me with any questions. So what we're going to cover today is a brief overview of our medical portfolio, um, some discussion over some of our key titles, um, a little bit of uh, information about our peer review policies and ethics, um, and then some information about additional services that we offer. So our medical portfolio. So we currently publish um, over 450 peer-reviewed academic journals um, and we are a growing um, publisher, um, adding journals to that list every year. Uh, we publish a range of open access hybrid and subscription models, allowing researchers um, choice of uh, where they'd like to publish. Over 80% of our journals are listed on Thomson Reuters um, and we've got 30 journals ranked within the top 20 in their subject category. Uh, we are a trusted partner with named in-house contacts responsive to authors and agencies and we really see ourselves as an expert in publication ethics and it's the lifeblood of everything we do um, and we're very strong on that side of things. Uh, we also offer a, a range of services designed to expand the global reach of your research. So moving on to some of our key titles, our top rated, most popular titles. Um, so picking out a few here, so we've got CMRO, which is Current Medical Research and Opinion, which I'll actually talk about more later on. This is one of our most popular uh, journals. Um, we also have Postgraduate Medicine, um, which is focused on um, uh, providing authoritative medical information to help physicians solve clinical problems and improve patient care. And it's well renowned globally. We also have leukemia and lymphoma, um, which is a really popular reference source for, phys for physicians and scientists interested in haematology. Um, picking out a couple there, also we have our expert review series, which I will talk about more in the coming slides. At Taylor & Francis, we really pride ourselves in partnering with global um, societies, and we're currently partnering with over 35 societies worldwide, and there's a few examples there. Um, some of our key titles that we publish um, alongside societies are the European Journal of General Practice, which is published on behalf of the European Society of General, Practi General Practice and Family Medicine, um, and mil Minimally invas Invasive Therapy and Allied Technologies, which we publish on behalf of the Medical Innovation and Technology Society. So now just picking out a few of our key most popular titles. Um, so current medical research and opinion has an impact factor of 2.665, um, a very clinical focus. Um, it offers rapid publication of original research on new and exi exciting drugs and therapies from phase two to four, um, and also post-marketing investig investigations. Um, the journal uh, covers all areas of clinical medicine, um, but we're strongest in diabetes, cardiovascular therapy and oncology. Um, this journal is a founding member of ISMAP and we publish the ISMAP abstract book every year. Um, we also publish the first GPP guidelines in this journal um, and we're very strong and a leader in publication ethics and integrity. Moving on to Journal of Medical Economics. Um, so this journal uh, has a specialty in health economics. It publishes original research on cost, costs associated with drugs, medical devices, therapies, insurance and healthcare programs and evaluations of patient outcomes and quality of life. It's one of the top journals in health economics um, and it offers extremely rapid publication. Again, strong across diff lots of different therapy areas but we're strongest in oncology, cardiology and diabetes. Moving on to Journal of Drug Assessment. This is an open access peer reviewed journal which is listed on PubMed Central. Uh, the journal focuses on publishing uh, clinical research from therapeutic assessments of drugs and medical devices, patient outcomes and disease, and it really specializes in publishing small preliminary and pilot and null result studies. Um, we see this really as a platform uh, for publishing uh, these negative null results um, and we really support initiatives that encourage publication of all clinical research including all trials. And the journal really stands out for its rapid publication and extremely rigorous peer review. 
Moving on to the expert collection. So the expert collection is a series of 28 peer-reviewed journals um, combining the well-known expert opinion and expert review series of journals into one truly comprehensive um, collection. We're one of the uh, largest seri uh, review series in the uh, clinical medicine sphere. Um, we publish a range of different article types, predominantly reviews, but we also encourage um, unsolicited submission inquiries from unsolicited original research. We also publish drug evaluation articles, which are written by independent key opinion leaders in the field. Um, what really stands out with the expert collection journals is that we um, encourage our key opinion leader authors um, to really express their opinion on a field. So as well as providing a comprehensive overview of the latest developments within that field, we also ask them to look to the future and provide their opinion on where the field is going. And each of these articles ends with an expert opinion section, which is dedicated to allowing those key opinion leaders their opinion. Uh, and these are some of the, these are these sections in these journals are very very popular um, with busy clinicians and researchers. So diving into a little bit more detail, so the expert opinion series. Um, is 11 journals that cover uh, the entire research and development pipeline, which is extremely unique for a series. So we go all the way from um, drug discovery with our expert opinion on therapeutic patents title and our expert opinion on drug discovery title, all the way through the different phases up to um, phase three and launch with our expert opinion on pharmacotherapy title and our very popular expert opinion on drug safety. Also to pick out, we have um, our title, Expert Opinion on Orphan Drugs, um, which is increasingly popular and focuses on rare diseases. Moving on to our expert review series. So this is a series of 17 different titles covering all areas of clinical medicine. And it really um, provides a gateway to cutting edge dis discussion and debate within these areas. Don't take my word for it, we just have a quote from one of our editor-in-chief editor here. Um, so as he says, the expert collection is a credible, topical and scholarly research that I've come to rely on in my role as a leader in international pharmacological studies. So they're very popular journals, um, very well read and high quality. So as well as our subscription portfolio, we also are a glowing, a growing, have a growing open access portfolio. Um, and within the last 18 months, we've acquired two large open access publishers. Um, so we're now publishing Coaction Publishing and Dove Medical Press. At Taylor and Francis, we really are committed to growing our open access portfolio in order to offer the academic community greater flexibility and choice. And we feel that with the acquisition of these two titles, um, we really are pushing the boundaries and doing that. And the TNF Medicine um, now publishes over 200 open access journals. So moving on to peer review and ethics. Um, so as I mentioned, um, this is really important to us at TNF and we ensure that we uphold the highest standards of eth ethical medical publishing. We comply with the ICMJE recommendations, COPE and GPP3 guidelines. As mentioned, CMRO were a founding member of ISMAP. Um, all papers uh, published within TNF journals are peer reviewed um, and all associated um, media is also peer reviewed, so video abstracts are always peer reviewed. We require clinical trial registration um, and we rolled out a data sharing policy in 2018 requiring all articles to include a data sharing statement. So now just a little bit about the additional services that we offer at Taylor and Francis. Um, so we have an accelerated publication option, which I'll talk about more in a second. Um, we offer reprints and e-prints. Um, we have several advertising options. Um, we encourage submission of supplements, video abstracts, as I mentioned, which must be um, peer reviewed alongside the article. Um, we offer a range of post-publication metrics. And we're also available for bespoke publication workshops. And this is a really popular service. So do get in touch if you're interested in finding out more about that. So our accelerated publication options. So we have two options. So we have Fast Track, um, which goes from submission uh, to publication in as little as three weeks. 
and Rapid Track, which is seven to nine weeks. Um, and we have an in-house editorial team who are always available to answer questions throughout the publication process. And we really do encourage um, pre-submission inquiries so that if the manuscript isn't quite in scope for one journal, we're able to recommend a more appropriate title. And if you need more information about any journals, please do submit a pre-submission inquiry with any questions and we'd be happy to help. Um, Finally, post-publication. Um, so on our website, we very clearly um, list all of our post-publication metrics. Um, our, me our, our alt metric scores, um, citations, and readership numbers are all very clearly available. Um, and our in-house team are always happy to help advise authors on how to uh, use social media to broaden the reach of their articles. So thank you very much for your time and please feel free to get in touch with me if you to find out more.